Now we've been hearing mumblings about this for a while, but there's been recent articles that provide more credence to the claim that Ant Group could be potentially moving closer to the IPO process than we think. And that's what I'm gonna cover in this video. So guys, smash that like button, subscribe if you're new, you're watching more money, let's get it. What's up guys and welcome back to the channel where the goal here is to help at least a thousand people achieve financial independence much sooner and let's dive right into it. So you can see here that Jack Ma's aunt is set to apply for a key license as soon as this month. And I always pause because whenever it's an article put out by Bloomberg, I always try to find some sort of corroborating evidence and I will get into that. But you can see in this article that Jack Ma's aunt group is poised to apply for a key financial license as soon as this month, according to people familiar with the matter. And those are the few words that I hate the most because it's always unnamed sources, but let's move on. So you can see here, this particular Bloomberg article goes on to state that the People's Bank of China intends to accept Ant's application to become a financial holding company once it's submitted and will then start a review process, which could take months. Once again, said by people asking not to be identified, discussing a private matter. Okay, fine. But I found another article that lends more credence to this. So you can see here that Reuters put out an article that said Ant and Alibaba plan for a less intertwined future after China crackdown. And this came out on June 21st. And so you can see here as I dug into it that Ant Group and Alibaba are untangling their operations from each other and independently seeking new business as Jack Ma founded companies navigate China's devastating regulatory crackdown. Four sources familiar with the matter said. So multiple sources do add more credibility to the story. And why am I sort of digging into this? Look, I'm speculating a little bit, but it is fun to speculate. I won't lie to you, especially as an Alibaba shareholder. So full disclosure, this is speculation. But if these two companies are separating further and further to the point where they're starting to compete against each other and making contracts like I'll show you next with rival companies, it suggests to me that this is really going full steam ahead to separate operations and thus separate companies and thus potential Ant Group IPO. But we'll see how that plays out. So let me go back into that article. So you can see here, in moves that would have been inconceivable two years ago, the affiliates have started to restrict each other's services compete for clients, and even strike alliances with rivals. And that's the key point there. When you get to the point where you're becoming so competitive with a company that your ultimate shareholders own both of, that tells me that you're really trying to separate this, not just from a regulatory perspective anymore, but also from a competitive perspective. So that's really huge in my opinion. The moves by Ant and Alibaba towards operational separation underscore the new reality in China's business landscape. Ant, which is in the midst of a regulatory driven transformation, appears to be making progress in its bid towards reviving its IPO, as Reuters reported. But I do want to point out once again at the bottom of this article, Ant did say on June 9th that there's no plan to relaunch the IPO, but we know that that's bull crap because we've seen so many articles come out saying how they're going through that rectification process. Why would you be going through the rectification process unless your ultimate goal wasn't to revive an IPO? It just doesn't make sense to me. But what this tells me is in terms of the sniff test, it tells me that they're getting closer. So eyes on this story as it develops. I think it's just gonna come piecemeal until it eventually gets announced. So we'll see how this plays out. But like I always say to you guys, Ant Group has no weighing on the valuation. It is complete upside. So you can see here, I've shown you guys this all the time. The contribution in 2026 that I'm bringing in from Ant Group is not any higher than the contribution in 2021. So I assumed no growth. And so I effectively I valued an immaterial contribution to earnings. Therefore, any good news for Ant Group could provide a material increase to valuations of Alibaba, including mine. And what is my valuation? Well, you can see here from the tracker that the Patreons get access to, you can see that the intrinsic value that I have for Alibaba at this moment is $300 per share. And the company's currently trading at $105 per share or effectively 35% of its intrinsic value. And what's interesting right now is that we have a bit of a record here. There's 11 companies now in our tracker that are trading under 50% of the intrinsic value. And so I showed you another one, Zillow Group, because the housing market is being challenged right now. They're trading at approximately 40% of their intrinsic value. Now, I have Zillow highlighted green because I believe Zillow is an exceptional business. It's on 
par with the other exceptional businesses that I've seen in this universe right now. For example, like Alphabet or Trade Desk. Those are types of technology companies that I feel are above and beyond their competitors in their particular spaces. Now look, Alphabet may have a bigger moat than Zillow, but that doesn't necessarily mean that Zillow is not an exceptional business. And so what I'm effectively saying here is that this is an example on the tracker of an exceptional company that's trading under 50% of its intrinsic value, and there's lots more. And of course, you guys know that if you wanna get access to the tracker and all the individual models that the trackers support, you can get access to that at the lower tier of the Patreon. And once again, like I always say, there's no risk ever to you because I do believe that the work speaks for itself, and so if you do join the Patreon and then you decide that it's not for you, don't just cancel. Message me and let me know that it wasn't for you, but at least you gave it a try and I'll fully refund your first month's subscription. And that way there's zero risk to you. And the reason why I do that is because I wholeheartedly believe in the effort here. And with that said, the other thing that you guys got to be aware of is there is a potential risk that you might be banned from investing in Chinese companies by a law passed by a bipartisan group of US lawmakers. And I covered that completely in this video right here.